here we will consider lead bullet as a system and this system is non isolated as wooden block does negative work on the lead bullet lead bullet comes to rest so its final kinetic energy will be equal to zero to satisfy conservation of energy internal energy of the bullet increases so we can write equation for conservation of energy as kinetic energy of bullet that is initial kinetic energy of bullet plus work done by block on the bullet plus heat that is equal to final kinetic energy plus change in internal energy of the bullet here Q that is a heat exchange into the surrounding that is equal to zero there is no heat exchange takes place also final kinetic energy of bullet is zero so we can write kinetic energy that is initial kinetic energy of bullet plus work done by block on the bullet is equal to change in internal energy of the bullet so we can express this in a bar chart so this is kinetic energy that is in positive here work done by the block on bullet is negative so q that is a heat exchange into the surrounding is zero final kinetic energy of bullet is zero and a change in internal energy of bullet that is equal to the sum of initial kinetic energy of bullet and work done by bullet work done by block on the bullet now in the next part it is given in the problem that change in thermal energy of bullet is equal to half of its initial kinetic energy. So the change in internal energy is equal to m times c times delta t, which is equal to half into initial kinetic energy of bullet is half of half in to mass of bullet into square of initial velocity of bullet. So from here, mass will be cancelled from both sides. So this gives us change in temperature of bullet equal to V I square upon 4 C. This gives us change in temperature equal to vi square upon 4 here c is specific heat capacity of lead which is equal to 130 joule per mole per degree celsius so this is the required relation for change in temperature of bullet when it penetrates through the wooden block Here we have used the idea of specific heat to quantify change in temperature of the system. We also have used generalized work energy theorem where some of initial kinetic energy of the system and work done on the system is equal to final energy. 
so we have used here conservation of energy we have used here the idea of macroscopic kinetic energy as well as microscopic kinetic energy as when the bullet comes to rest then its microscopic kinetic energy was equal to zero but its microscopic kinetic energy was not equal to zero as the particles of bullet moves more quickly than before